All right, everybody's practicing social distancing. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this solar panel awning. I should mention for anyone who was who's been following along that um, the generator's been starting up just fine lately with that bigger battery. Well, I started this kind of late in the afternoon, and I do realize I have one odd solar panel here, but <laughs> this was the first one, and then these three came later, so obviously they're just slightly different solar panels, but that's okay. So this is what I have happening so far. I do need to cut the ends off. Don't totally know what I'm doing, but it's all screwed together. And obviously I'm going to have another board just kind of overlapping this a little bit. Um, sort of acting as a lip. So these solar panels, I mean right now I can pull them right out. But the point is to have a lip here so that, you know, he'll be able to slide them out when you need to take them out. Um, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise it's pretty much done. Uh, these are just boards that were laying around, so yeah. Okay, I'm trying to do this before it gets dark. Um, so this is what I've got done so far. And I just have to put the lip. Oh, I've got it all. The ends all chopped off where they were kind of overhanging there. But yeah, so I've just got some shorter boards to put on here. Screw them up on here just as a lip for these panels. And I should mention too, these, uh, these boards were just boards lying around. This is total DIY. It's not something that I, you know, went to Home Depot for. The only money I'm spending on this project uh, was hinges. I bought two hinges just to hinge uh, this thing to the roof. That's it. Everything else I had, you know, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and stain this um, tomorrow morning, I think. I'm just gonna let it dry. Like this wood was just sitting outside, so it's a little, it's a little wet in places. So hopefully if I put it inside um, for the night, it'll, you can see here, this is wet still too. It'll dry and I'm just gonna put a little stain on it. Um, just to protect it a little further. Like I said, it's probably, it's already soft in places. I mean, some of the screws went in pretty easily, but you know, this isn't something I'm expecting to last 20 years or anything like that. It's just a project on the whim. Um, you gotta do something in isolation, right? Okay, so it's actually probably two weeks later or so, and I finally have this thing stained. I put two coats on the front side, two coats on the back side, and I think I'm going to get ready to go ahead and mount this to the roof today. So, Okay, so I've got this mounted up on the roof with some hinges, and I decided I probably am going to need to go to a hardware store. And get some posts for this thing because right now I just have it resting against the ladder. But see, it's adjustable at this point. 
but I still don't know what I'm going to do with the posts. How I'm going to find adjustable posts, I don't know. I might end up just go going with some wooden posts. And yeah, I don't know yet. Anyway, I'm going to wait until I have some kind some kind of posts holding uh holding this up. Not sure how high. I guess higher than this, but I can't reach that high. So I'm going to wait until I get those posts put in before I put the solar panels in there. But I am going to have to run to a store and pick up posts and post blocks. These things right here. So it is going to end up costing me just a little more than uh, the cost of the hinges, which I originally said. Because I forgot I have no posts here. Alright, I'm standing on the back of my truck. I went ahead and put these posts in. Post blocks. Don't mind that step, that'll be replaced with one like that at some point. It's just kind of redneck, redneck for the meantime. So now I've just got to climb up on a ladder and slide my solar panels in up there. And it's getting close to being done. All right, there we have it, if you can see that. Solar powered awning. The panels are all in. I just have all the solar cables coming down because I do plan on putting the spare batteries on the back side of the camper over there. But I think it looks pretty good. Fun isolation project, I guess. Still need to work on it though. So I'm just kind of standing underneath of the awning right now. You can see I just have all the cords dangling down until I find a place for those. But yeah, turned out pretty good. Now there's a bit of an overhang above the uh, bedroom door. I do plan on putting a different step or maybe some kind of a small deck or something here. At some point, that's for another day though, there's always a project around here it seems. <laughs> but yeah, it's about supper time, so I'm gonna retire this project for today, go back to work for the weekend, and get back to it on another day off. Just to give you an idea here, I have all four solar panel cables coming down. I think I showed in another video that I bought one of these. So it has four connections and then this one connection that goes to this solar charge controller. Um, like I said, it was just a cheap one that I bought online. I think it might be 20 amp. Yes. So I went ahead and just rigged this up myself. I'm going to clamp this on this spare battery over here. And I just kind of angle this clear container over it just to help, just to help um, keep the rain off of it. But I don't cover the battery obviously because, you know, it does release some gases. So yeah, that's what I have going on until I build a battery box for back here and that will be the next project. Like I said, just to help keep the rain off of this uh, for now, but lots of gaps, lots of airspace. Have the other spare batteries over here, just for now. Like I said, until I build some type of a battery box and I'll connect them all together and charge them all together on the solar awning.